Okay, hey, so we just installed a 51 volt, 105 amp hour Roy Power lithium iron phosphate into a 2014 48 volt gem car from Polaris. And you can see it fits in the old battery tray that used to have uh, lead acid batteries. And if you look at the tray, you can see that it would accept a longer, higher capacity battery. You can see that the uh, gem car positive lead here that was on the car attaches to the Roy Power and then the negative one is right here and then the Roy Power has a uh, fuel gauge plug that goes in there and then it has a uh, on off switch here to power up the uh, the battery pack and so far we're actually uh, driving the crap out of it and it's doing really really good it does have the perfect footprint it has some tabs that you send down uh, some lag bolts and yeah, it actually worked out pretty good. Um, so this would just be a test example to see how the car performed. I did approximately five to seven miles and I only dropped one bar on the uh, fuel gauge. And then we actually took the fuel gauge and sent it right there between the uh, uh, seats. It's a temporary position for the uh, fuel gauge. We'll probably mount it to the uh, dash uh, underneath the original uh, cluster um, to give a better idea. But we we're just kind of running a test on this to see how it would do. It's really cool because this uh, Roy Power battery pack is way more affordable than the uh, battery pack that Polaris sells. Now, the next goal would be to stick a 160 amp hour lithium battery pack and see if we have the uh, room for it to uh, sit in here. Okay, hope that helps you, and we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.